since we left the house, we have had a broken arm, trip to the emergency room. Hello and good morning, everyone. Hello. You guys, I have woken these kids up yeah. super early. 6.30. I woke them up at six o'clock. I asked them yesterday if they'd wanna go on a hike with me today and they mm -hmm. said yes, and I was so excited. We came up to Mountain Pinogas, a mile and a half hike up, but you gain a lot of elevation. Yeah. It's a tough, but such a fun hike. Oh yeah. We're ready, we've got oh, our yeah. shoes I'm on, excited. we've got our water attached to us. I have mine on my back. Ryler has his right there. It's Carrie and Kirby, so it's gonna be a super fun morning. I usually do this trail as fast as I can for a workout, but we're obviously gonna go the boys' we're, speed we're today. Chilling, yeah. And they're gonna do awesome. We're so excited. Oh, it's yeah. beautiful up here. You can hear the sound of stream over there. I'm Ready so excited. Go? Yeah. Let's okay. Do it. How fast do you normally go? Isn't this the arch that you guys took a picture on me? They're like, don't tell me what you All right, you guys, we're taking a little break, little stop. Ryler's like, my calves are on fire. And honestly, my calves are like on fire the entire time I'm hiking. I usually treat this, like I said, as a workout. So we go as fast and hard as we can. I don't know how you do we're it. not doing that with the kids because there's no need for that today. They're doing pretty good. The one thing you have to do when hiking to Trail Cave is you have to touch the rock. Or else it didn't happen. I did it. Hey, Kirby, you're up. <sighs> Good job, buddy. Kids made it to the top, and I'm so proud of them. I think that they might have trust issues, thinking that you said this was gonna be fun. I think it was harder than they anticipated, right? Yeah. It was a little harder than you thought. Yeah. But it's so rewarding getting to the top, touching that rock, mm -hmm. and then going down, you just get to enjoy the beautiful scenery. It's so beautiful. You guys are gonna love it. How are your legs feeling? Good. Well, I just walked downhill for two seconds, and right here hurts. You got your quads, so yeah. My ankle hurts. I know. We'll take it slow. Take it slow. And it. Good job, crew. Okay. Keep it up, bud. Yeah, your form looks really good. Coming on our way down, I feel like that was a really fun hike. Going up was definitely difficult. It was a challenge. Not used to it, but it was so challenging and fun. It was a great exercise. But now, I just get to enjoy coming down, looking at this great scenery. Oof, that's disgusting. We just finished. We're back where we started. How was it? That it was, was fun. fun, but tiring. Pretty tiring. Tiring, yeah. You guys had a good time, though. Yeah, I liked it. They pushed through. The last little bit is so tough, and yeah. they did so good. It was fun. And I'm really sore from tumbling. I know. Crew is like, the whole time we were going up, he's like, this hurts from tumbling. And then coming down, he's like, and this muscle hurts from tumbling. They push him hard there, so he got quite the workout this week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job, buddy. All right. All right, let's go home. Let's go see what the little kids are doing. We are home. We had so much fun. The boys did so much better than I thought they would. They were strong and they were moving and they were fast. They did amazing. There were moments where I was like, I think that they might never trust me again because I'm like, you guys, this is super fun. This is so great. And while they did have so much fun, it is a tough hike. In general, if you're using it not even for like a workout or any exercise, it's a tougher hike. It's so beautiful, so quiet. The kids had a ton of fun. They did really good. I have the satisfaction of getting to the top, touching the rock, and then coming down. I'm so proud of them. Got ready for the day. I'm not really like dressed anything fabulous. I have these ones that I absolutely love. They are very comfortable. I'm just in comfy zone. I have to get like really dressed for later in the day because we actually have a meeting at the house. Ran Ryler over to his friends. So he's hanging out with some buddies. That will be fun for him. We're going to go check in on the house, get all the update from the inspection. Like, did we pass? Did we not pass? Did we fail inspection? There's always a couple of things I think that they have to like work through. We are also meeting with someone today about the concrete in the garage and in the basement. And I think we're meeting with a company to do that today. And then we're also probably going to be talking about landscaping. So big day at the house. It's been a minute since we've had a house meeting because we've been gone. It'll be so awesome to go tie up a loose ends there and get going on stuff.
<laughs> Guys, we are here at the house. It is a sunny, gorgeous, hot day. Windy. It's windy though, day. a little bit breezy, but it's nice because the breeze kind of cools you off or blows stuff over in your house. But front door's shut, windows are shut, so I think we're protected in there. Yeah, Anyways, I think we're doing pretty good. So I, w I misunderstood what we were here for. I thought we were doing like a backyard thing. It's concrete. I thought we were having concrete. I don't know if it's sport court. It is the garage flooring as well as the and deck. Cold storage. Oh, and deck. And deck. So that you should be a good what? one. I think it's safe to say we don't know what we're doing here, but we're well, about to find. Well, I'm also interested to see if we passed inspection. I think that's supposed to be something that has or yeah. has not happened yet. So we're about to find out that as well. Sounds like they're doing insulation. So. Oh, that would mean that that's means, a good yes. sign. Yeah. You love me. We just did the walkthrough. What we were choosing is the coating. The yes. super awesome coating on some of the cement surfaces. Is it cement? Or I don't even know what it's on top Out of. Out here, I don't think it's cement. It just looked a lot cooler really than cool. I thought it was going to. When he started showing examples, I'm like, wait, that's what this is going yeah. to look like? They can make it look like wood floors. We chose a really cool design. They even had some look like a giant marble tiles, though, and stone. Yeah. Like, it could look like anything, ours looks, but I ours loved really ours. Cool. It's so cool. It's got some bigger pieces, smaller pieces. That's going to be, be this really entire pretty. deck. It's going to match perfectly with some of the patio furniture, as well as the exterior walls. Super jacked on that. Then we got to go into the garage, choose all the coding for the garage, including the stairs down into the merch room. Yes, and you guys, we decided, we were like, well, we could do the same one across the garage, the cold Yeah, you store. could just do everything the same, but we're like, let's make each room its own thing, even though it's like a small so we did. difference. So that's different from the backyard garage, which is gonna be like pool storage and yard storage, stuff like that. That yeah. one, we went like a little darker, more modern. And then the cold storage, we, we got to choose like another one. We went like a super light one, being that, it's it's, that there's up. no windows or anything, it'll be nice and bright in there. I think so. it's gonna be great. I'm, I'm actually like really excited. Funny things that you just like don't even think about like oh we have to make this decision speaking of that you guys we made a decision kind of feeling proud of ourselves I'm gonna go show you guys I don't know why we didn't think of this before but we're super stoked on it came to us as we walked through one day and we're like why is that that way can we change that oh we're in charge okay yes we want to change that yes. as you guys know big giant window one of our favorite features of the entire home giant great room right there one thing and you can't really see it so I'm gonna flip around here but one thing that I had always wished we had is a grander more open entrance it does drop down there's lights here there's pages bonus room things like that we're looking at this the other day and I just was like, can we take this out? So our project manager, Jake, was here today. He said, heck yeah, let's do it. Absolutely no reason that they're other than to make it uniform with this right here. But I think that makes sense as it's going into a different room. It actually yeah. has sliding pocket doors on it. So that's fine to be sealed down low. Now that entire thing can be removed, opening up this huge entrance to make it really big. I think that will make it a much grander entrance as you come in and see all this. Eliminated. Could not be more excited about that. As I look through it and I can see kind of through those little gaps, picturing that being gone completely opens up into that big giant oh, window, the big view. So much better. Huge difference. And it's just one of those things that we walked through, we looked at that and we're like, does that have to be there? And I love that it's like, no, it doesn't. Let's just take it Let's out. Let's just take Easy, it out. Easy, Thankfully, it was fix. one you can take out. Yeah, some they're like, no, that's structural, so you're stuck with it. But quick update on what's going on here today. They are putting in insulation like nobody's business. They are going through and doing in between every single piece of wood, putting up a bunch of like clear material, and then they'll shoot foam in between the walls. They've done so much. They're just it's stuffing with insulation foam. everywhere. They've got every single little wire has been sprayed with some inflatable foam. I don't know what it is. A lot of that going down. And then drywall being delivered once this is done in like a week. It is just moving along here on the inside. Like we said a couple days ago, pretty soon we will not see the inside of these walls ever again. So weird. look at them now. Enjoy them because they're going bye-bye. <laughs> eventful afternoon. Since we left the house, we have had a broken arm, trip to the emergency room, some hilarious anesthesia reactions. All of that, you guys, though, does not involve immediate members of our family, so unfortunately, we're not able to share the hilarity with you. No. Uh, it's, not, it's not all hilarious. Some of no. it was actually quite no. dramatic, but Rye Guy was out hanging out with his best friend. Best friend broke his arm like on that. a backyard trampoline, just as we convinced mom that we should have a backyard trampoline. And then, because there was nobody immediately available to take him to the hospital, Mindy goes running over there, loads him up in the car. I'm just like, this it is so a scary. lot of drama for an afternoon, but Rye Guy just just got 
got done FaceTiming his buddy. Was he still in the hospital or is he back home now? He's on his way home. On his way home from the hospital, but apparently he has been the hit of the ER, making all the nurses laugh as he is just rolling on the meds there. So Poor best of luck. Kid. All the well wishes go out to him. Love that dude like crazy. We're gonna have to stop by, bring him a treat or something because sure. we know firsthand that that is not fun. <gasps> and that can really wreck Thankfully, a Thankfully Hazy's summer. was not as bad as his. His, <laughs> yeah, mom's got a picture, but I won't share it. Ugh. Ugh. Speedy recovery, hopefully a rad summer, and I'm sure Rye Guy can still find a lot of fun things to do that don't involve using your arm. I don't know. You guys well, could play video games? Well, video games. dominant arm. Oh, it was, so it was the offhand. Yes. So at least there's that. Okay, day continues to move forward very quickly because mom's making dinner for the kids here at home, but yes. Rye Guy and I are taking off to go see Jurassic World. We're gonna go to the movie theater, do our thing with the pizza and everything, so our dinner's taken care yeah, of. now I know how it goes, so I know all the things Yeah, mom's experienced doing. that. I was gonna wear my Maverick shirt. I was like, I'm not watching that, but maybe that's my new permanent you movie shirt. Shirt. Brexit does. Yeah, Universal Studios would have been appropriate. <gasps> I don't have time to change though. We gotta go. Love you. It's gonna be awesome. Love we'll see you. when I get back. Everybody, please, no broken arms in this house. No. <laughs> we got Micah in the house. got back from Jurassic, is it Jurassic World, Jurassic Dominion? I don't, I don't know, really it was know. great, wasn't it? You didn't go. I mean, didn't you guys so love it? <laughs> it was actually awesome. I know I'd seen some reviews out there that like it wasn't that great living up to the hyper expectations. We loved it. That guy's asleep. Yeah. Guys, he's literally barely awake, hanging on by a I thread know. during Woke that whole movie. So he got up and hiked the top of mountain, cave anyway, in the mountain, at like six in the morning, so I don't blame you. We'll wrap this thing up. Uh, for 16 hours. 16 hours, Mike, actually did the math for him. <laughs> He couldn't do it right now. He's not even awake. On the way back, we took like, not a wrong turn, but I ended up on the street of Strawberry Days. Holy, Holy cow. God. That it's place was I busier know. than I mean, any amusement park I've ever seen. It was busier than the we busiest day Disney. We haven't done the carnival this year. It did not look fun. I'm sorry. We're not going, I'm sorry. I know. We looked at it and I was like, I'm so glad we're not there. No. It looked insane. It was fun, bright colors, lots of people. Anyways. Bright colors. <laughs> I like bright colors. Brad guy's been checking on his friend. It's been all the talk of his friend's text thread group. Oh man. He is back home doing well. I know that that's like kind of a footnote for you guys, but in our life, it was a really big deal. So. It was a really big deal, but I got his friend a gift, a DoorDash gift card. Because so he can't go out. Himself, yeah, there you go. Food, yep. And then, sorry you're going through a sour patch. <laughs> so dumb and so awesome at the same time. <laughs> it feels like something I your love mom it. would do. It totally does, and I love it. Come back tomorrow. I'm about to disappoint crew and Brexton, possibly Ryler. Uh -oh. I have a hair appointment, and I'm going to cut. Are you cutting oh, your hair? I'm going to cut my hair. Not like, I'm not going to wow. cut it like off. Wow. Come back. Wow. It's been about seven years since I've had a major haircut, so it's time. We love you. Thanks for hanging out with us today, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. It's a cool shot. So who wants to go first? You then me. Wait, wait, get close. Get tight. Oh my god, so cool. You're good.